Okay, here I'm going to prove the identity rule for derivatives, which means that the derivative of just x is 1, right? So if you have a function that whatever you input x, you're going to get out x, then the derivative of this function is 1. And this makes sense probably intu intuitively because the line y equals x, right, or f of x equals x, has slope of 1, and we know the derivative is slope, and so the derivative makes sense to be 1. But let's take a look at this using the limit definition of derivative. So if we have f of x equals x, then what's the derivative of that? Well, it's the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. And so what's f of x plus h? Well, it's just you plug in x plus h in for x into your function. And again, whatever you input into the function, that's what you're going to get out. So in other words, that's x plus h. Similar here, f of x is, by definition, x. So I have x plus h minus x. Simplify that. x minus x cancels out. We have limit as h approaches 0 of h over h, which is just 1. And of course, at this point, there is no h in the expression, so we can just get rid of the limit. And so this is equal to 1. And so that proves that the derivative of f of x equals x is 1, the constant function 1.